I think he said he says things that Shepard he says things that Shepard does agree with, right? Like things that make sense, like. But it's still not something. It's like I don't know. Not something you necessarily want to get chatty about. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum. Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. <laughs> Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the C-Sec charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. Oh, okay. Mm. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Uh, not, not gonna be the case, my dude. Mm, we can do this. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Everybody's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's absolutely not. Mouse, Mouse, he's gonna know it was Mouse because Mouse was the only point of contact. Bailey's the only one who can authorize an arrest. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. I don't remember how to best. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. <laughs> Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. I don't remember what the best way to deal with this is. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Uh, you be bad cop. Yes, you be bad cop. Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push Wait, too hard, though. that is not... We need the information more than we need That is course. not what I... <laughs> Dang it. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. Who the hell are you two? Oh, Shep's gonna enjoy this, though. <laughs> the acting thing. <laughs> Um, dang, I can't remember. I should have probably done it the other way. We'll see how this goes. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. I'm trying to be a good cop. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You apparently haven't noticed we're not C-Sec. No deals, no due process, no advocate. And that's supposed to scare me. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will. After we're done. You're not the only one who can buy off C-Sec, Kellum. What are you, fraud boy? Oh, I'm gonna... Her little apology. I am going... What, kid? You gonna yeah. bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. I wanna see how this plays out. No, uh, didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not My you. My eyes. <laughs> Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. Elias, if we were after you, we'd have already put a bullet in your head. We're running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being well, Okay. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right, fucking quit. <laughs> Ain't worth this. Joram Talid, Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Mm. Nicely done. 
<laughs> Thank Wait. you. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess you have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. Code for a seasick. <laughs> that went well. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. And that's the thing, right? Like, people, politicians or whatever, they can have, like, like a decent message where it's like, you know, oh, we're gonna end this bad thing. But they're so sneaky and stealthy about it sometimes. Where, like, they were very subtle. They, like, wrap it up in something like, you know, racism or, or something like that. I mean, honestly, I mean, if you want to look at, I think this is a very easy example that comes to everyone's minds, but Hitler, right? Where he was like, I'll bring back the glory of Germany. And the Germans at the time were really beaten down. And like, they wanted that, right? Like they wanted to feel proud to be German again. Um, but then he freaking wraps that all up by making a scapegoat of Jews, right? And like wraps it all up in that. And like, it just like twists, like what could have been like, you know, a good, you know, a good thing to like, you know, bring Germany back, like increase like uh, the economic power, you know, the tech sector, all this stuff, increase jobs, all that stuff. But it's wrapped up in really terrible, just basically plans for genocide, you know? So it's like, oh, you gotta be really careful. You gotta read the subtext. You gotta pay attention to what people are saying. <laughs> are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. We, we saved the aliens. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. We are moving very quickly, honestly. And that's one of the biggest complaints that most alien species had, is that we're trying... We're moving too fast, even faster than the Solarians, and they have shorter lifespans than we do, you know? So, it's understandable where they're like, hey, we had to wait a long time for these rides. And it's like, well, listen, no. <laughs> you know? Um, but, yeah. It's actually much worse if you don't save the council in the first game, in Mass Effect 1, where you can choose between saving the council um, or letting them die. If you let them die, and then basically, um, I'm pretty sure, I've only done this once, but... Um, What's his name? And I had, what, not Anderson. Oh my gosh, the other guy, the politician who threw me under the bus. I, I'm just bad with names today. Um, he basically creates a human council. And then, like, you hear, like, the galactic news and stuff. And it talks about how, like, humans are, like, taking over, essentially. And, like, this was all, like, premeditated in order to get them into power, blah, blah, blah. Like, it gets real, it gets real bad. Um, so, this is, this may seem bad, but it's not as bad as it can get. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. I yes, just sir. default hit Paragon. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> As per usual. It's this coffee is making my brain go like a million miles an hour. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead on the maintenance cat box. Tell me what he's doing. The Grogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I love him so much. <laughs> I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. How could you not? How could you not? fall for him he's so attractive and he's so much more attractive it's been talking with you all i hope you'll come out on election day you can count on it i'm on him thane he's talking to some voters understood you're in position yes it's been wonderful talking with you all uh -huh. i hope you'll come out on election uh -huh. day Keeper. don't mind me of all people that be doing a stealth mission it's me which is freaking hilarious honestly 
He should have asked Kasumi. <laughs> but I'm his friend, not Kasumi. I mean, I'm sure him and Kasumi are fine, but... Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. The fact that he has a Krogan bodyguard is kind of, like, <laughs> terrifying. I have actually lost him before. No problem so far. Which was horrible. Open, 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 open. I think he goes into the shop. Or his bodyguard does. Do you have the target? I was like, hmm. Target in sight. Like, Thane doesn't even have the invisibility cloak that Kasumi does, and Thane's just like freaking just blends into the crowd. Doesn't need a doesn't need a crutch. Yeah, which is dumb to like wait for your bodyguard outside. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it's the involvement thing because they're like planning something. But um, but yeah, it is kind of silly. <laughs> like, what's the point of a bodyguard if he doesn't bodyguard you? I see him. Yeah, I know, I know. I think from here they take off running. Yeah, he takes off running. Like, which isn't suspicious at all. Like, why do they... Why do they do that? Don't change... Don't change direction. I'll be sad. Can't see him. No problem so far. Oh, I'm about to fall off the edge. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. <laughs> I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know target in sight. Good, because I don't have him. Oh, jeez. This is one of those moments. Switch rooms. Stay close, ah! Oh, I see him. Someone's walking on. What's it? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. That's I'll try not to me. Don't lose not him. me talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Whew. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Storage. Vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. I am very persuasive. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss. Also, do do the health inspectors usually have um? This much armor and weaponry. He's gonna run again. Uh. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a second. I think I gotta. <laughs> like, he's really obvious just standing there. Like, what? He's just standing outside this guy's house. There's no way a Krogan would be taken down with one bullet. He's heading to Talid's apartment. That's absolutely not gonna happen. Kolyat. This... this is a joke. Now... now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. c -Sec. Put the gun down, son. I didn't want the Get cops. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. 
They'll have snipers outside. I don't need <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Tell me get the hell out of here. Sometimes Paragon Shepherd is just done. Yeah, yeah, I will. Done with everybody's BS. <laughs> Take the boy into custody. Sometimes you need some tough love. You son of a bitch. Sometimes you need some tough love. Your father doesn't have much time left, Colyat. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... Older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. <laughs> I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Oh, these guys just being dads. Just guys being dads. Uh-huh. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues to Citadel politics. That's right. They look into the, um... The anti-human bias essentially going on. Bailey at CSEC offers possible recruiting opportunity. Uh, <laughs> uh, may have to support Elias Gallum and similar criminals to- Are there not, like, good people out there? Like, you could support Anderson. You know what I mean? I- Okay, I don't like- Well, no, actually, I think I do like Thane's new outfit. Just kidding. Pacing. They've been in there a while. Waiting. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. Kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service? <laughs> murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary, strictly within CSEC. Wink. Interesting. I'll think about it. You gotta help me here, man. Thank you, Captain. I really like this guy. <laughs> you gotta help me out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go talk. Let's go have a chit chat with Thing. A lot of these personal missions center around family, which makes a lot of sense. Like you have you have stuff you need to, you know, tie up any tie up any loose ends, oftentimes gonna be a family or a lover or something. Also, um in case nobody well, in case somebody doesn't know, um there's that you can actually read a comic about uh Thane's past Commander, you've received a new message yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wrong way. I keep going that way. And I'm not... I think in Mass Effect 3 you go that way. No, in Mass Effect 1 you go that way. And that's how you get to the rest of the ship. Do you need 
something. Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot terminals on the target skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. This is, this, honestly, that sounds like a super awesome story, and I would, like, love to see it. Like, on, on legitimately, like, you know, like, what is it? Maybe, like, the idealist woman in, like, the, the darkness shrouded, you know, assassin and like slowly she brings him out like into this it's so cliche but she brings him out into the light shows him that there's more than just death the darkness and all that and like slowly they come to love each other oh my gosh i do i would eat that up eat it up i guess she impressed you she woke me up her body trembles not fear indignation her mouth moves how dare you you and i train to sacrifice ourselves to save others how often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. The comic does go through that at least a little bit like it's basically the backstories of um everybody that you meet all your companions and kind of the thing like garris is about is about his squad that he had and their deaths and like you know basically the like the stuff that leads up to their personal missions here in mass effect 2 who came for her Batarians, a slaver ring that was preying on hanar out her colonies i'd killed their leaders they paid the shadow broker to find out who i was but they were afraid of me so they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. I don't blame him. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell And it. here's the kicker. Here's the big... What the frick? Here is the big WTF moment in the entire series for me. Is that he... I've been waiting for this. He has just finished telling me about how his wife was brutally murdered. And, like, she was the love of his life. And, like, he had, like... She was everything to him. Like, the only thing that brought him joy in a world that, like, he had, like, kind of... Just kind of fallen asleep in. And then she died. And he was devastated and he murdered people brutally in revenge and then this is what i have to say this is this is my option i like after all that shep's like yo i am extremely turned on and i cannot hold it in any longer like hold it just calm the freak down like hold, hold maybe the next conversation we can talk about this but not this conversation <laughs> it's just so, it's just so jarring. Maybe I haven't been as I get... front as I should be. What? I'm here for you, thank mm. Whatever you need. You, you are very kind. Uh -huh. Thank you for listening, Sia. <laughs> I think my translator just glitched. What did you call Oh, me? I'm gonna actually cry. <laughs> Someday I'll tell you what it means. 
Hmm. <laughs> like legitimately. Oh, I'm tearing up. I'm feeling very emotional. No, that uh, that word right there will end me. And it just anytime I hear him say that, it just makes me just want to cry and jump for joy at the same time. It's I'm not gonna spoil it just yet for the few of you who don't know what it means. But it is one of the most beautiful like words ever made in like freaking what is it like uh man-made lexicons <laughs> anyway it's beautiful i love it i love him he breaks my heart i'm brokenhearted it's it's beautiful though i love i don't know i enjoy pain <laughs> but anyway <laughs> i do get that like at the end of that conversation thing it's like i haven't talked about this to anybody like this is crazy and shepherd's just like listen i want you to know like i am here for you and like i will listen to these things you know like i and also i really like you like you know but it's still like hold on <laughs> just calm. The, the 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 dialogue that they are the the text dialogue for it is very upfront and jarring the way she says it not so much but the text itself is like the subtext in her brain and it's like oh god but also i love this man so much i'm just gonna leave it there i gotta be done now well done for the moment but i'm gonna keep fangirling over him for the rest of my life thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it um really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially reese galito my sampling tier patron thank you so much and christopher my tree tier patron thank you so so much you're the super bestest i hope you're enjoying this series so far i enjoy all your comments thank you again and thank you everybody again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one